There was a fucking article that came out today that, of course, uh, got a lot of got got people in the fandom kind of uh, eh, a little a little upset because uh, you know it had to do with um, a, sur- a Superman writer. So here's the article right here. Superman writer thinks Zack Snyder's version was too relatable. This is action comics writer Philip Kennedy Johnson said he believes that Superman and Zack Snyder's Man of Steel was too relatable. Remember how, like, didn't the Russos say, like, some of the DC characters weren't relatable enough? And they said Superman wasn't relatable? Well, now we got somebody, we got a Superman comic book writer who is saying that it's too relatable that is a change right there so we got all this let's see the quotes right here uh philip kennedy johnson who currently writes action comics for dc talked at new york comic-con and that was just over last weekend about how he viewed superman johnson said his vision of superman is clear while admitting different creators having differing opinions on their versions of the hero. He said his vision aligns closely with Christopher Reeve's portrayal of Superman, but more like hulked out physicality and in the context of these big epic scenarios. But I just love that. He added that that version of Superman has no ego when he smiles and that his attitude was, I'm your friend. I'm going to help you. Johnson said he felt that Cavill's take on Superman was too conflicted. Well, yeah, and we know that. That's what was supposed, That's what Snyder was trying to show, okay? And, you know, so far, again, this is not a bad opinion. It's just an opinion. Again, let's not get super upset. Again, people were just reading the headline and getting all pissed off. Too conflicted, so he doesn't really like that. So here's his quote right here. He says, I don't mean like physically uh, physically, um, or his acting or even that, but just the approach of the Man of Steel film in which he's kind of searching for himself and you might see him make a mistake or he gets opportunities to help and he might not do do it right away or he's conflicted, you know, like, uh, like, like, uh, like they like seeing a more relatable Superman that's not, what I like at all. So he just doesn't like the fact that it's like a conflicted and he's trying to find his place in the world. He wants that already established Superman, that, that, that Christopher Reeve Superman. I want to see, I want to see, I want a Superman that shows us the way and shows us how we're supposed to be. That's best of us always. So he wants to see more of that, which is what Zach was actually getting to. And, you know, there were some, there were some people that are critical, some Superman fans that were critical about what Zack was doing with Man of Steel and BVS. And then they realized what he was going for when it came to Justice League because we did, we then saw a more confident Superman. He knew exactly what he had to do. So obviously if we got a continuation, which, hey, fingers fucking crossed, we would see more of that. And I would say that uh, that he would actually agree with that. I would say that Johnson would actually agree with that if that was the case. So, so I wouldn't say get upset, which I, of course... That'd be asking too much. Uh, I wouldn't say get upset with all that, but he just, you know, he was already wanting that, this Superman over here, that eventually Henry Cavill's Zack Snyder Superman was going to get to. So, but, you know, sometimes you just got to break down the characters, man. Just got to break down that character. You know, you got to make it, got to deconstruct a little bit because guess what? Superman, it's kind of difficult to write. It's difficult to write. It's, It's literally Superman. The only thing that can defeat him is a fucking green rock. Okay, and his arch nemesis likes to sell sell real estate. So how do you how do you bring that? How do you bring that into now society? Well, guess what? That's how you do it right there. Man of Steel, BBS. It's kind of what you do. You know, the guy can. I mean, why do you think Bruce Wayne was like, dude? This guy he could fucking kill all of us if he wanted to. And Superman doesn't. But at the same time, he's trying to find a way of find a reason why I need to save these people when like half the world hates me. You know. So, I disagree with him, of course, but I'm not going to sit there and go like, hey, he shouldn't write Superman and get all huffy puffy. You know, he has an opinion. We all have one. It's fine. So, we shouldn't get upset with it, but I think, uh, you know, it's fine what he said. It's not for him. It's not for him. It's not for everybody, but if if you're talking about it on Twitter for fucking, you know, five and a half years, you have an issue. You have an obsession. Shut up. (laughs) There are still people that still just want to talk, talk, talk about 
uh, how much they hate Zack Snyder's Superman, Henry Cavill's Superman, and then it's just, he doesn't smile. He doesn't, yeah, it's like, well, then stop talking about it. I never understand why you want to talk about something you don't like, you know? That's happening recently. I see so many people that are obsessed with still talking about the Suicide Squad. It's like, move on. Why, if you hate it so much, stop talking about it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Fans, weird. But anyway, so hopefully... Just having the Henry Cavill Superman in the conversation right here. Um, hopefully, we'll get something in that. That to me, that would be that would be such a huge announcement if they decided to surprise us with that. Like, hey, guess what? We are gonna do a Superman movie. We are gonna have Cavill back, and blah blah blah. You know how you know how big that would be? That would be huge. See, that's what's so funny about this. Like, read the room. You know how huge that would be if you're not gonna capitalize. It's like if they're not gonna capitalize on continuing Zack Snyder's Justice League's movie, then take the popularity, some popularity that, that has come out of it, which is Henry Cavill coming back to Superman was huge. So guess what? Continue with him. Announce a movie with him. If you're not going to, if you're not going to announce Zack Snyder's Justice League 2, announce at least, uh, you bring in all these other people back. You got a Wonder Woman 3 coming. You got an Aquaman 2, you got the Flash movie coming. And apparently, I mean, it's no, it's, there's no secret that they're probably going to be showing up in each other's movies. You still got this Superman right here that, that's just sitting there. Just sitting there. Henry Cavill's value has just sprung up. He's huge now. People like, when, when we're talking about the recasting of Bond, how many people are like Henry Cavill? 100%. You know, The Witcher is huge. He's just, he was awesome in Mission Impossible. It's like his value has gone so much up. It's like, come on, stop it. And hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. That's just uh, fingers, toes, balls crossed. Just don't hurt yourself when you're doing that. 